Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be me telling you guys what you need to put in your school emergency kit. Basically a guide for teen girls or preteen girls, tween girls, anyone who identifies as a girl, anyone who is a female. Basically just what you need to put in your school emergency kit because it is back to school season and... <laughs> Summer's over guys like we are really getting up on back to school and so recently I've actually started packing my school emergency kit And so I really wanted to like make a video on what to include in your school emergency kit because I feel like I didn't even know what to include So I wanted to like give you guys a guide for like what to include in case anything happens at school or just like what you will need Especially like if you're a teen girl preteen whatever and I actually did some massive back to school shopping at Target yesterday So I got a lot of stuff for this video and I'm really excited to show you guys what to include in your school emergency kit I'm actually looking down right now because I don't know if you can see oh by the way ignore my pajama pants but I arranged everything that you're going to need in your school emergency kit down below and I'm just going to base oh my god now I have to fix my camera again and I'm basically going to be picking up like stuff from the pile and showing you guys what to include in your school emergency kit it's really important to pack these for school because especially as you know you like you start going through puberty like you're starting to get your period there's just more self-care stuff that you have to do and you're at school all day it's just really important to have something that just has everything that you might need in it like while you're at school away from home so the the first step in the process of putting together an emergency kit for school is picking the emergency kit. I mean, obviously you're not going to have anything to put the stuff in if you don't have a bag, right? Right. So there's a lot of options for what you can do. Personally, I like to use bags that kind of look like pencil cases. I have some over here so I can like kind of show you what I'm talking about. So I have like a lot of these kinds of bags. Like this kind of just looks like makeup and then this is just kind of a cool design. And then this is another cool like bag that you could use for an emergency kit. You know, it all kind of looks like pencil cases. Or if you want like a really big one, try to look for something like this I mean if you don't want a design on it like popsicles or something then you can get a plain one but like this just has a lot of compartments so if you want something big like this then maybe get something like this and these are actually the ones that I'm going to be using for my own school emergency kits and I do say kits plural because I am actually packing an emergency kit for my locker and for my backpack it depends on your school if you have lockers or whatever but I personally think it's smart to have one in your locker and your backpack just because you never know like you could be at your locker you could like not have your backpack with you it's just good to have duplicates of everything but you can do whatever you want you can pack one for just your locker or just your backpack I personally am going to have two it's better to make duplicate kits like one for your backpack one for your locker but if you can only make one like that's totally fine too but I would say if you have to choose between a kit for your locker and your backpack do a kit in your backpack because that is always with you and you're more likely to use the kit from your backpack because you're not like always at your locker but yeah at the time I'm filming this video my school orientation is tomorrow and so I definitely need to pack my own emergency kits so after I show you all the products that you should include in your emergency kits I'm actually going to pack them for myself in these little kits these are Gilmore Girls inspired I am obsessed with that show so basically I'm going to just start like showing you all the different products that you should include in your own kit and like if you're just making one like here's a perfect example of like a good bag for it you know like it has room it's kind of like wide and like long but it's not too big that like it won't draw so much attention I mean you don't want the case to be like huge and big because otherwise you won't be able to fit it anywhere but make sure it's like big enough obviously it's just like finding the right one I'll link a couple down below and also links to most of the stuff that I show in the video as I said I'm motioning down because it's all laid out here but whatever I can find like of these products that's available on Amazon I'll link down below for you guys to like go buy if you just want to like go buy the products and you don't have them yet these are the same products that I'm going to be having in my kit and so we can all be like twins with our kits I don't even know what I'm saying at this point just feel free to also like customize this kit to like what you need feel free to add stuff take away stuff I mean you don't have to follow this exactly these are just suggestions and it's actually like a lot so you can pick and choose what you think you need this is just to give you some ideas and anyway I'm going to actually show you what you should include now okay so the first thing and I am going to be reaching down a lot because I have to like get the stuff but the first thing is pads or tampons or panty liners basically anything that like you if you have a uterus if you're going to like have your period even if you haven't gotten your period yet it's smart to pack these pads because obviously if you get your period at school this is the place to put them I'm personally including two overnight ones for like a heavy flow and then two regular ones in my own emergency kit and then I also have these panty liners and these are just kind of like loose they're not really in a package so I just put them in a ziploc you want to be hygienic and put things in ziplocs oh especially if something has liquid in it if it leaks you want to make sure it's in a ziploc but yeah this is just like obviously if your period surprises you at school or just like if you need to change your pad at school obviously and as I said even if you haven't gotten your period yet this is to be prepared and if we're still on that note then I would also pack a pair of clean underwear it doesn't have to be the best underwear ever but this is if you stay in at school when you're on your period just it's always good to have a pair of clean underwear with you this is like a ratty old pair that like I don't even wear but I just rhymed accidentally what am I Shakespeare but it's just good to have this because then if you like have your kit with you then you can just change into this clean underwear and then you won't have to worry about wearing the 
stained ones. And you might be wondering, Whoa, Ruby, where am I supposed to put the stained underwear? And I have just the thing. You should also, in your emergency kit, include a Ziploc. I labeled mine for stained underwear. Fold, hello, hello. Fold it up so that, like, they can't see the words, but you can label yours too. And then you can just put the stained underwear in here. But it's good to have a Ziploc, even if it's unlabeled, just in case, like, just to put stuff in. So make sure to have that in your kit. I'm just struggling to fold this up right now. I would also hugely, hugely recommend over pretty much anything else, especially if you're a clumsy person like me, having a ton of first aid stuff. I'm including alcohol prep pads, band-aids, basically anything that you can think of, like little ointment packets. It's just really smart to have this because if you fall, scrape yourself, cut yourself, even if you get like a hangnail or something. Oh, speaking of hangnails, just bring some nail clippers to school with you. Like this is all kind of just first aid stuff. So make sure that you have at least band-aids, but also try to include alcohol pads, ointment packets, and also nail clippers because you never know what's going to happen at school. And I mean, obviously the nurse has this kind of stuff, but like if you just want to take care of it yourself, then just pack this stuff and then you can be independent and take care of this yourself. Mookie! My puppy's in here while I'm filming. Come on. She just came over to say hi, and I wanted to make her say hi because I do not show her in a lot of my videos. And actually, on the day I'm filming this, it is August 7th, and her birthday is on Tuesday, August 9th. So you guys will probably be seeing this after her birthday. So if you're still watching and you want to wish my dog a happy birthday, then comment down below, happy birthday, Mookie. Anyway, she's going to go back and lie down so I can keep filming this video. <laughs> I would also recommend packing some lip balm in your emergency kit because honestly, whenever there's that question that people ask like What are the 10 things that you would bring with you if you were stranded on a desert island? I would have to include some kind of lip balm because when my lips are chapped or dry, I just cannot function. So I have personally Aquaphor in mine. You can put Vaseline or like a chapstick or tinted something, but just make sure you have some kind of lip balm because it'll like refresh your lips throughout the day. I don't know. I would also recommend putting some mini sunscreens in your emergency kit. I personally I have this one from Neutrogena and then also this Cetaphil sheer mineral sunscreen stick I go insane when I'm shopping at Target But just make sure you have some sort of mini sunscreens because if you suddenly have to be in some sort of sunny environment for a while Then it's good to have this like in your emergency kit Which is especially why you should have it in your backpack if you have to pick between your backpack and your locker Just make sure you have this because then you can quickly apply it It doesn't take up too much room at all. These will just be like really helpful if you need mini sunscreen I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory something else that I would recommend having is a little mini hairbrush I personally have this one as you can see you just kind of like push it out and honestly I don't know why you would randomly start like brushing your hair But if you have like a knot or something, it's good to just have this I mean, maybe you won't do it in front of everyone Maybe this would be good for like the bathroom But I think just having a mini hairbrush so that you can do something with your hair that is really smart Speaking on that side of things, I would also my mini hairbrush does have a compact mirror But if it doesn't come with a compact mirror then just get like a little mirror that like folds if you need to like look at yourself for some reason Just a little compact mirror. That's really good to include too and then also also, like if we're talking about beauty and vanity and whatever, also include some hair ties. I have this like, I don't know what these are called, but it looks not like a hair tie, but it is a hair tie. And then I also just have these ones, like a pink and a gold one. And also maybe include like a claw clip if you need to like, I don't know, put your hair back for whatever reason. And I would also recommend packing a lot of bobby pins. Again, just to like fix messy hair, I don't know, just include bobby pins, they're good to have. And also, because this kind of looks like them, have some safety pins because if you have some sort of like I don't really even know what these are for but they can like hold things together it's just good to have these now this next item only applies if you wear glasses or contact lenses I personally am planning on wearing contact lenses to school so if you wear contact lenses bring some extra contact lens solution just for like dry eyes or like if for some reason you need to like put it back in your eye or something you want to make sure that you're hygienic and clean and also of course wash your hands before that but if you do wear glasses to school make sure to pack lens cleaning wipes because if they get like dirty or something you want to be able to clean them at school I would also recommend especially Especially with the current state of things right now, the pandemic still going on, I would recommend packing some hand sanitizer. As you can see, it's in a Ziploc for me. It's just like a little Purell. Since it could like leak, I put everything that's like liquid in a Ziploc. And I did just want to say this, I didn't include it like as an item because it depends on your school and also just like what's going on in your area, like wherever you live. But since COVID is still going on, maybe pack some extra masks. You never know when you might need them. Or if you still wear them to school, then it's good to just have extra ones, like if yours breaks or something like that, or like gets dirty. I would also recommend adding some money to your emergency kit I turned it the wrong way but I'm just gonna have a $10 bill in each of mine just because I don't know vending machine or like you just might need some money so just pack some money it doesn't have to be much like just have a little bit of money in there I would also recommend packing some gum and some mints I don't know they're fun to chew also this is not
not really like a necessity, but make sure to have some Q-tips if you want to. I don't really know what these could be for, but just have Q-tips because they're good to have. And I would also recommend having a little pack of mini tissues because this is just like necessary for me myself. And also oil blotting wipes if you are someone like me with really oily skin and you don't want to be walking around school looking like a crystal ball all day. I am definitely going to be using these a lot. Also, if you want to just pack some like cotton balls, that's what's in here. I don't know why you would need these either, but like if you just need to clean something off your face or something, just pack a few cotton balls. Also, bring something that removes stains quickly. I personally recommend this because I've heard it's really good. It's like a Tide to Go instant stain remover pen. This will be for sure linked down below. So definitely get this because if you stain something with like food or just ink or something at school, then one of these should probably be able to help. Also try to get a little mini water bottle and put it in there because you never know when you will be dehydrated or maybe you'll be thrown into the middle of the desert and this will be your only hope for not dehydrating. I don't know where that came from, but just have water in your emergency kit. It doesn't have to be a huge bottle, just make it a mini. And lastly, try to have some extra school supplies in your emergency kit because I don't know, like if you lose your pencil case, you need some pens or some pencils. It's right here in your emergency kit. You never know when you might need them or like if you lose all of your supplies in your pencil case for some reason, but it's just good to have these in your emergency kit as well. video thank you so much for watching it and I really really hope that this video was able to help you out with just showing you what you should put in your emergency kit for school because I know everyone's going back to school right now packing their emergency kits so I really hope I could be like a guide for you guys out there packing your emergency kits after I finish filming this video I'm going to be packing these products in my own two emergency kits I think I'm going to put this one in my backpack and this one in my locker but yeah if you think I miss anything definitely feel free to comment down below what else you should include in your school emergency kit or like comment down below what else that you have in your own school emergency kit that's like a necessity for you because then we can all just help each other out have as many essential products in our emergency kits as possible and so yeah before you leave please like this video and if you made it to the end of this video comment down below mini products are must-haves because honestly when you are packing an emergency kit mini products are really the way to go and also please subscribe to my youtube channel if you do want to see more just like relatable videos that can help you guys out with dealing with all of these struggles that come as you become preteens teenagers whatever I'm make tons of period videos if you would be interested in that which is like kind of related to this video and I also just make like other videos on things that no one ever really talks about I will link some other videos that I think you might like if you enjoyed this video down below for you guys to go check out and yeah that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching it and I love you guys and have fun packing your emergency kits bye